in this lecture we will see how to create a web form in frappe and we also see how to customize web forms using programming let's start learning let's open our web application and to create a web form let's go to web form list and here we can see inbuilt frappe and erp next web forms let's open a lab test and uh, this form is used for adding a lab test in ERP Next. To see this web form, just click on See on Website. And here we can see our lab test web form list. To create a new lab test, just click on New. This will show the form, and we can fill this form as per our requirement and finally we can save this form let's see how to create a new web form for our server side scripting doc type let's go back to our web form list view and add a new web form add a title programming a web form then my doc type is server side scripting let's check this e standard and publish if login required just click on this checkbox i am not ticking this login required to get all the fields from uh, server side scripting just click on this get fields button and uh, here we can see all the available fields from server side scripting you can also add an introduction here let's add an introduction this is a programming module web form You can also add a client script here. I am not adding any client script. Uh, we can add custom CSS here. Then in actions, uh, we can add a button label. Right now, I am not uh, changing any button label here. Then the default one is save. We can customize uh, the sidebar. I am not uh, customizing this sidebar and also we can add payment integration in uh, web forms right now I am not configured any payment gateway in my local so let's uncheck this I am not touching that area I just adding that fields and uh, create a button save everything looks good let's save this web form and to see this programming web form click on this see on website here we can see all the fields available in server side scripting let's select a client side doc add a first name anu b thomas and uh, email testmail at email.com let's add a number here date of birth uh, and age 30 let's save this now we successfully saved our uh, web form and uh, if you go to server side scripting we can see our saved document so this is that uh, document and if i open this we can see our data as a server side scripting document so this is how a web form is functioning let's go back to programming web form and uh, reload it if i add something different and uh, save this 
which also saved in server side scripting log time and this is our data here we can see first name we know now let's see how to customize this web form using client side scripting for that let's open vs code and uh, if you go to programming module we can see one directory called a web form inside that we can see our programming web form directory with uh, three files first one is programming web form dot js file and uh, json file then finally programming web form dot py file here i am going to show you how to customize that web form using uh, programming web form dot js file we can add our code inside this uh, frappe dot ready function i have already written some code for customizing web form let's uh, see one by one first one is uh, frappe dot web form dot afterload so this function will trigger after loading that web form here i am going to print a message please fill all values carefully inside this afterload function save this then go to web form uh, reload this page after reloading that uh, page we can see the message please fill all values carefully we can also trigger different functions when we change the values of a field so let's see how to trigger a function when the value of this enable checkbox is changed so let's go back to webform.js file i'm commenting these lines and uh, here i am and commenting these lines comment these two to trigger a function we can use this method frappe dot webform dot on then we need to enter that field name and uh, here i am using enable field name and if the value of this field is changed it will print this message the entire function is inside our frappe dot webform dot after load function so let's see how this is working save this then go back to webform reload the page and uh, let's check this enable checkbox and here we can see a high user message here uncheck this and uh, then also we can see that message next i will show you how to fetch values from web form and uh, how to set values to web form for that i am using this date of birth field and when i select the date of birth field this will fetch the value from uh, date of birth field and uh, and uh, calculate the age using some function then set the age based on that uh, date of birth for that let's go to js file and comment these lines i am using the same method frappe dot webform on to trigger a dob field and uh, we can fetch values using this method field and value from this value object we can fetch that values inside dob field if the value is present i am using some functions to calculate that age so these are the calculations i just directly copied it from internet so this function will return the age using this date of birth field and uh, we can set that age using frappe dot webform dot set value inside that function we need to add that field name and here field name is age and value is also age so this will set the value in age field so this is the complete function which calculate age from date of birth let's save this and uh, go back to programming webform I am going to add one date of birth in this field. And here we can see the age is 41 and which is calculated automatically using our function. So if I change that to 
some other value this will recalculate that age so this is how we can trigger functions based on field events from this lecture we have seen how to create a web form in frappe and we have done some client side scripting using programming web form.js file from last lecture we have seen how to create a web form and we have done some client side scripting in this lecture we will see how to validate a web form let's open our web form and this is our programming web form so here i am going to add some validation when we click on this save button so for adding validation let's open our programming web form.js file let's uncomment these lines for validate the form we can use this method frappe web form dot validate and this function is triggered before saving that web form so we can add our validation inside this frappe dot web form dot validate function here i am going to add validation in two fields first field is email and the second field is mobile number so for get the values of that email field we can use this method frappe dot web form dot get value inside that function let's add that field name and the field name is email so we will get that uh, field names from our web form so let's open programming web form and uh, here we can see the different field names so i am using this email field name and uh, mobile number field name for uh, validation i am using this pattern to test email id and if the test is failed it will show the message enter a valid email address and here also i am fetching that mobile number using frappe.webform.get value and uh, assign to mobile num variable this is my pattern to test mobile number and if that test is failed it will also shows a message and the message is enter a valid mobile number if both validations are passed then this function will return true and the web form is saved as a server side scripting document so let's save this and go back to our programming web form here i am going to add some random values in email field and click on save it shows uh, saved successfully because we didn't reload this page let's reload the page now i am adding some random values and here we can see one error message and it shows enter a valid email address so let's add a valid email address then let's click on save and now we can see saved successfully and uh, let's add a mobile number with uh, some characters then click on save here also we can see the message enter a valid mobile number so let's add only numbers and uh, click on save here also we can see the success message saved successfully now both email and mobile number will pass that uh, validation and if i click on save we can see the confirmation message saved successfully let's go to server side scripting doc type and uh, refresh it here we can see our email and mobile number so this is how we can add validation in web forms <music>